Because um, this theme is all about unity. It's all about unity and togetherness this year. So we want to make sure that when people get up here, if they seem a little nervous, we're going to clap them up and like, you can do it, right? Right. Martin Luther King was a man with a dream. Malcolm X was a preacher who believed our rights should be seen. Rosa Parks refused to give, her, give up her seat on the bus and let him know that no segregation was a must. There is more to me than the human eye can see. I'm a woman of purpose and destiny. A perfect design, I'm special and unique. I won't be identified by the parts that make up my physique. My beauty is not defined by my skin or my hair. The clothes that I wear, I'm not a symbol of pleasure or sex appeal. I have the natural ability to comfort and the power to heal. When God made me, he created a gem. Because he fashioned me in the likeness of him, I refuse to do anything that would put God to shame. Life is a struggle with pain. I can't see the sunny days for the rain. I feel like losing control and going insane, but through the poetry I release my pain. This journey is a weary path. Sometimes you are happy and sometimes you are sad. You will cry more than you will laugh. It seems like the struggle will never end in a world that is troubled and filled with sin. But through this poetry, I can pretend that all my troubles will surely end. Path to self-destruction. Done so much in your life, you need reconstruction. In your mind and in your heart, but by voice is where it starts. Ask and you shall receive redemption. You know the links is missing. But you keep right, but you keep wishing that something will change. A wide range of hurt voices with nothing to say. Cause they've been kicked so low, their voice was taken away. I was once a hurt voice, but something changed. I spoke life, now I got everything to gain. I'm higher than I ever been. Uh, on cloud nine, to the power of ten. To all those who have hurt voices, speak up and you'll win. 2010 is in. Here's your second chance. Her voices start over again. A mother is being held by her eldest daughter as she cries in, the small apart in their small apartment on the cold kitchen floor. She wonders how it got to this point, how she ended up like her mother, and she wonders how she will recover from the little white crystal in her pocket and from the sadness entangled in her bones. And her daughter says, <laughs> well, she wonders. So she wonders how long it will take for them to be OK, and when they will get there. And she wonders if it's too late for a soliloquy or too early for hopefulness. A teenage girl stands up from the icy floor, and she says to her mom, it's time to break the cycle. <laughs> 